Hey, what's going on? It's me. You have to read all of this by class tomorrow. That's right. You're having a stress year about university. Go f*** yourself. Ah, I swore. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, hey. Listen, we can learn to love each other again. Just like Benedictine monks can learn to love little boys. <laughs> Cute. All right. A baby is sold to pirates, raised a servant, then lives a life of adventure wooing princesses and fighting in tournaments. He forgot the best part. In the end, Guerin learns he has royal blood, the son of a duke. He reigns as king and dies a pious hermit. What's not to love? Benedictine should be dreaming of reconciliation with our Nord, not lusty adventures. What's the harm? Um, I suppose you're right. It's better suited for knaves like me. It's not my place to reprimand anyone for reading stories, least of all you, Andreas. Still, we must be on guard. Fantasy leads to temptation. Temptation has led to the downfall of many men and women. True, honestly. Get into fantasy anime. Next thing you know, you watch the fantasy hentai. It's just that easy. Know what game I need to finish? Fallout 1. Can you really ever finish Fallout 1? Is the, the deep... Sometimes, yes, but books like this, it's all the same type of fantasy, isn't it? To die better than we are born. And what's the problem with that? Why shouldn't a peasant dream of being a king? Drink some water? Fuck you, bitch. They're in neither Jew nor Greek, neither slave nor free, neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. She says it like that, I don't know why. Maybe that's how they said it back then. You have no idea. Were you a fucking peasant in the Bavarian Alps? I didn't fucking think so. Are we even in Bavaria? I don't know. It's all Germany, isn't it? Well, not yet, I guess. But they're all kind of German. I don't know. We may be one in Christ, but we are not equal in this world. Um, it is in this world you should be concerned with, Andreas. But the book, Andreas, we must return it. Or would you like the abbot to receive a fourth letter? I hate to see the brothers disappointed, but I understand. It is not, it's not my goal to deprive the brothers of their joy, but to return Amadea Rusko's <coughs> property. The book, please. Don't return the book. I like you, Illuminata. You're kind of funny. You're a weird little prude. There's only one book left. Then you'll be free from bondage. Oh. A dark red cover, eight inches high, five inches across, two inches thick. Um, oh, I remember that. What is it? Oh, I remember that. Hmm? The description should be sufficient. Um, I don't know why you won't tell me, but all right, I'll find it. Very well. Brother, oh yeah, there it is, right there. It's a sex book. Did it have sex pictures? Now that I think about it, Guy has always been guarded about this book, like he was hiding it. Me touche! <laughs> it's about me touching things. <gasps> me touche, pardio et de poile. Oh my god, he's saying he touches his penis. My goodness. This is not very well translated Spanish. I'll put it like that. Aw, oh, fuck. Very good. Please bring it here. What is this, anyway? Huh. <laughs> Maybe I should have learned French at some point. Oh. Oh, it is French. Oh. What is this? Why are you asking so many questions? Just give it to me. Why won't you tell me what this book is? Because it's a dangerous book. Andreas Mahler, one of the previous... Uh, Andreas Mahler, one the previous abbot tolerated in spite of a papal order to destroy it. The three French bishops condemned the book. All copies were to be burned. Its authors shared the same fate. What? Why? I don't know, Andreas. It isn't my place to question the judgment of one bishop, much less three. Before you ask, no, I haven't read it, but I know it contains a dialogue between love and reason. So, the book is dangerous. When did the bishop just condemn it? Oh, there she goes. Cute. Nice. We're learning about books today, folks. I hope you guys are excited. I'm fucking on the edge of my seat. 200 years ago. 200 years ago? What? Why? Why is it still here? Because Father Matthias loved books, all books. He didn't want to see it destroyed. Sounds reckless. And he was right to do so. Books shouldn't be destroyed, even if their content is in question. Um. Yeah. Payday 2 revolver headshots are so satisfying. Real life headshot revolvers are satisfying. I kill people. The Holy Church does not share your opinion. It is their law we must contend with, not your emotions. The church was, um... Fume silently. I wouldn't push it. It's not my place to question the former abbot's decision, but when Father Gurno learned it was in our possession, he wanted it destroyed. Must the book be destroyed? No one even knows that it's here. 
Well, I refuse to give it to you if all you're going to do is destroy it. Must the book be destroyed? No one even knows that it's, that it's here. I do. So do Mother Cecilia and Father Gerno. Well, I refuse to give it to you if, it's all, if all you're going to do is destroy it. What? Why not? What are you going to do with it? I'm not sure. Uh, read it and become a French heretic. That's not funny. I'm serious. Give me that book or our deal is forfeit. I won't tell you anything about Baron Rothfogel. Consider the sound of Theo- Consider the sound- I, If I had some more fucking- If I had some cool ability here based on IRL psychosis. Fuck yeah. I propose a compromise. I will take the book from the Abbey. Far away. I appeal to your duty as a librarian of this Abbey to not destroy this book. Consider the sound theological reasons for allowing the book, this book to exist. More sound than a condemnation from three bishops of Paris? Offered help. I mean, who are you going to trust? Them or me? Ah. Thank you for making my decision so easy. Did you leave university voluntarily or were you expelled? I propose a compromise. I will take a book. Uh. I will take the book from the Abbey. Far away! Soci sociopath Chad versus the Anarchy. I'll be gone by the time Father Gurno asks about it. And if you like, you can say I stole it. I doubt he'll make a fuss about me stealing a book he wanted destroyed. I don't like this, Andreas. It feels wrong in my heart. Oh, opinion offered to help Illuminati enthusiastically. I swear I'll take it far away. It's been out here for years. Besides, how could you have stopped me? I'm trusting you in this, Andreas. Against my better judgment. Don't make me regret this. Nice. Fuck yeah. Convince Illuminati. Give me the French book. The French book. Nice. It's mine now. Sorry, Gurno. Sorry, guy. You're going to have to jerk off to something else. Cool. Now then, Baron Rothvogel, quickly though, I need to finish up here soon. You said she may only have she may only have time to answer one question, so I should choose carefully. He seemed unusually friendly with me. I don't understand it, honestly. He mentioned finding a copy of Historia Tassia. He said it had some scandalous details in it. How long has he been visiting the Abbey? He said he buys books on the Abbey. What kinds? Ooh, nice. I didn't get it in my playthrough. Fuck. Wow, shit. This, this game is stressing me out. There's a bunch of shit in it. Fuck. Did you happen to get the Gertners? Did you get the Gertners their money? Because I didn't get the Gertners their fucking money. I fucked that shit up so hard. I fucked the dog on that one real hard. Their children are going to die. Um, He mentioned finding a copy. I'm going to do this one. He also mentioned that Father Matthias had a copy and was looking for, for another to verify its contents. Do you know anything about the book? I have heard of it, but I have never read it and know, I know, know little about its contents. The subject is broad, but I believe the book deals specifically with the Roman occupation of this land. What about that could have upset Father Matthias so much? What do you know about the Roman? I can't claim any deep insights into the former abbot's mind. I understood him to be a virtuous and charitable man, sometimes to a fault. I didn't either. Oh, thank fuck. I, I, I fucking, yeah, fuck that shit up. What traits did you choose? I'm curious. It is not always best when an abbot considers himself a friend to his brothers instead of their shepherd. Do you prefer Father Gurno to Father Matthias? Could something in the book have led Father Matthias to a crisis of virtue? Virtue is only found in crisis. Without it, virtues are little more than ideals. So, perhaps there is merit in that idea. Well, I must be off to Mass. Thank you again for your help, Andreas. I suppose you'll be leaving via the crypt? Oh. Latin hedonist. <laughs> I chose fucking uh, hedonist, occult, and fucking... Uh, I was a fucking... Oh, uh, natural world. I suppose you'd be leaving via the crypt. I don't know where you were poking around down there like a grave robber. I don't know why you were poking around down there like a grave robber, but that entrance isn't for you. One of the lords of the old keep must have had it built to escape in times of siege. It allows the sisters to access the library without distracting the brothers. Please do not abuse this knowledge. Maybe I could abuse it a little. <laughs> um, of course not, sister. Could I? Hmm? I, it's fucking... The hedonist ones are funny. What are the... Oh, yeah! um, of course not, sister. Ah, it's gonna be... Maybe I could abuse it a little. Don't! <laughs> Eating time. Yo, sex time! Let's fucking go! That's the bell for sex! The brothers will be sitting down for dinner soon. Fuck yeah. Sex. Monastic hour corresponding to noon. One of the little hours of prayer followed by dinner. Oh, fuck yeah. I should see if Otto is around and still wants to eat with me. I think he's working by the guest house below the abbey. Dinner with Otto and Enderus. A few more pages. Let's do it. Um, let's read my little journal. It has the same book noise that Oblivion uses. Occult options are probably wild too. Can't remember my third choice. They're pretty funny. 
Tell her, she said, Clara kindly gave me some food for dinner. I should see if Otto and Endress around. Otto's working below the Abbey, between the guest house and the Abbot's house. Okay, whatever. Yeah, fuck that up hard. Another day, another page for the Abbot, and hopefully a few more for myself. I need to get across town to head up to the Abbey so I can start working at the Scriptorium! Alright. Clara kindly gave me some food for dinner. Who the fuck's Clara again? I can't fucking remember. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember. Don't even worry about it. Oh, we're learning about myself. Okay, cool. Andreas knows Italian, a little Greek, and can reference cultural touchstones from Florence, Venice, and Milan. Andreas seeks out pleasure wherever he goes. He's extremely social and quite experienced in all the enjoyable vice of the world. Andreas is familiar with the basics of human biology, medicine, and illness. Andreas knows a soul endangering amount of theory, and radical, and, and practical knowledge on alchemy, astrology. Andreas. Oh, 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 wait. I, have to, I go in the scriptorium to check out that book. He had the thing. He had the thing on that book, bro. He had the thing on that book. Check out the fucking book. Yes, that's right. I forgot about this. Ex Libsis. Uh, hmm, I wonder what Prior Ferenc was doing with this book. From the Library of the University of Five Churches. The Hungarians call it... I've always wanted to learn how to say that. It's Pex! Hey, it's Pex! The Hungarians call it Pex. Hmm, that's where Ferenc is from. Doctor of Theology, George of Gran. Uh, did Ferenc... A friend of his? Propte Crosomo... Oh. Ah, the Speculum Astronomi. Albertus Magnus' defense of astrology! Goodbye, phone's going to die. Farewell. Goodbye, boy of RJ. Goodbye, Skyrim was taken. Albertus Magnus, renowned 13th century Dom Dominican. Dominican? <laughs> oh, it actually is Dominican. Never mind, I was making a joke about Dominican Republic. Dominican theologian. Skuma, oh my god, welcome back. Hey, we're playing Skyrim, it's so cool. Philosopher, astrologer, and bishop of Regensburg. A prolific writer, he was known primarily for his work on Aristotle and his knowledge of natural science. Natty science, bro. I'm back. Take a piss, bro. Fucking whiz one. Let's whiz that shit out, dog. Cool. Um. Sloppy bookhand. Couldn't have been produced by an abbey of note. Bastard script? Burgundian? Flemish? Not from here, and not recently. Oh my god. That's definitely Ferenc's handwriting between the lines and the margins. Is he notating the text for the university in Pex? Is he notating the text for his personal use? Is he notating the text for the benefit of future readers? In any case, it's a thorough commentary. Oh, these... these is Greek? What's this? It looks scribbled. Not like Ferenc to be so sloppy. It even blot the ink dry. Libra, Capricorn, Aries. All astrological symbols. Oh, What's written below? Greek, to be sure. Obscuzuzu? That just doesn't make any sense. It's not even a word. It's just a jumble of letters. But I know where that jumble of letters can go. This must be some kind of cipher. What's the key? Wait. The Volvo I found also has Greek letters on it. They must be connected, but how? The outer ring of the Volvo is marked with alchemical symbols, but this cipher, his cipher has astrological symbols. Wait, oh my god, bro. Literally fucking, did the game get good yet? Bro, it's getting so good. I'm getting all the fucking best dialogue options because I happen to choose the best fucking, fucking path, bro. Holy shit, dude. Holy fuck, bro. Wait, of course. Each astrological symbol is associated with one of the four elements. I just need to make those associations on the Volvo, and I should be able to solve this cipher. I hope I'm not going to have to do that myself. All right, let's go get the cipher. Old Bailey? It was in here, right? Pryor's house. Yeah, maybe. Cipher from Metal Gear Solid Five. That's right. Now that I know the connection between the astrological symbols on the cipher and the elemental symbols on the Volvo, Ferenc's note should be easy to decipher. Oh. I have to do it, huh? <laughs> oh, S? D? Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. The fucking cipher puzzle. Oh, God. I thought it was going to fucking do it for me. All right. Um. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got to look for similar symbols. Air. 
Okay. Oh, H. What is that one in? Okay, that one's part of the... Oh. Earth. Holy shit, this is fucked up. Hill. Okay, what do we got next? That one, Theta, I think that one is. So that's fire. I hit... Okay. <sighs> um, this is really is zero escape. Look at us go. Uh, X, that one, water. So it's higgle hig hig hig. Okay, Y, whatever that is, which is fire again. Oh, oh, okay. And then. Uh, fucking du the W again, which is this one, air. Oh, I don't think I'm doing this right. Um, N, which is this symbol, earth. Here uh, that symbol looks wacky, and that one is earth again. <laughs> I feel like I did this wrong. A high, I think it's supposed to be something else. Um, okay, what's this last one? The weird U, which is the M symbol, which is the water. Gerhard? Hi, Gerhard. Oh, as in the late brother Gerhard? Yes, yes, it can't be a coincidence. Hi, Gerhard. Brother Gerhard died sometime last year. How does this connect to him? Is it an anagram using Gerhard's name? Why his name? Did he use his name for an abbreviation? Do I? Harried, Hardier, where does the G go? God, I'm sure Adoc would know. Maybe it's not an anagram, huh? Let me think. Did he use his name for an abbreviation? That's a lot of letters for an abbreviation. A cipher inside of a cipher, perhaps? I don't know. Let me think. Why his name? And why Hygerhard? It couldn't be Greek. Never heard of an Italian or Spaniard named Higerhard either. Ridiculous. Let me think. Wait, maybe it's abbreviation and a name! Gerhard is a name. What's high? Haud ignota? No. Hink ile lacrime? Hmm. Oh my god. It's so much simpler. Hik iaset. Here lies. Here lies Gerhard? What's the significance? I suppose I should find where Gerhard is buried. The Abbey Cemetery seems like a good place to start. Wow, okay, cool. I've got another fucking achievement because I'm just that fucking good. 45.7% of players have this achievement, and I am now one of them. I am... Uh, I, 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 All right, cool. Let's go to the cemetery, baby. Take me to the cemetery, kiddo. Uh, where the fuck is that guy's gravestone? Animal pens, uh-huh. It's over here. Oh, fuck yeah. Right over there, bitch. Touch it. This is like that fall at the frontier puzzle, but it doesn't have a fucking... Have a kit dev plush. <laughs> um, hic iaset frater gerhardos de oniponza. What year is that? 1,100 and... 1047? 1047? Would that be correct? That'd be insanely well preserved for 1047, so I don't think that's right. What? No. No, 11. I'm just trying to. F I'm really just kind of stupid. I'm just trying to flex uh, technically. 11. Okay. 1000. 1100. 10. Fucking. Uh. 1117. The year 1117. Huh. French's cipher pointed here, but I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Oh, that's it, eh? Did, oh, I need to learn more. The Gertner's taxes. Is this, is that it? Maybe over here. 
Oh, wait, why is that one glowing? It's, she's just old as fuck. All right, gotcha. Maybe this guy? Here lies Gerhard. Animal pens? Fucking a monument to the founder there. Yeah, the funds are donated by their descendants. Damn. Well, there you go. Can I go touch the pigs? Pigs. Nah, they're, they're doing their thing. They look fucked up. They look like biblical pigs, alright. Oh, I can go in here. I didn't realize I could go in here. Pilgrim badges of St. Moritz. Endress makes these. Oh, hey, I know this bitch. St. Moritz is the patron saint of the, uh, Tassing. Legend states he was the Egyptian-born commander of Roman Legion. Oh, wait. I, I know who Endress is. Never mind. I already knew who that guy was. Cute. I guess I can't. I guess that's all. All right, didn't realize I could go in there. Fucking stupid abattoir. All right, nice. To be honest, if you say this in the Bolivian mod, I would believe you. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I'd kind of believe that too. Large garden. Interesting. I don't know anything about... Here lies... Huh. Here lies Gerhard. I don't know. We might just have to fucking call an L on that one. I have no fucking idea. What else can I check out? I can check out the apple trees. Maybe that would lend shed some insight. Nope. Nothing. Fucker. Kitchen and cellar. Where the fuck am I? Where am I going again? Hold on, hold on. Um, Otto's working below the abbey, between the guest house and the abbot's house. Oh, okay. In the large garden? Is that it? Below the abbey. Refectory. Large garden. Is that right? Average house in the chat. Okay. Lower Abbey? Fuck. <laughs> Can't wait for all these people to die a horrible death. Some sort of fucked up horrible medieval death. Uh, alright, cool. Gerhard? I don't fucking know what's going on. Anyway. Run. I like how he takes his hat off. It's cu cute. Cute of him to do so. Chapter. Upper Abbey? Lower Abbey? I, I... Well, well, well. If it isn't what's his nuts, Martin. Go away, Andreas. Can't you see I'm busy? Not really. What are you doing? I thought we could have a pleasant conversation for once. Why would I want that? I got so many better things to do. I'm only trying to be friendly. Um, I'm only trying to be... Uh, what is your problem with me? I'm only trying to be friendly, Martin. Why? Because I like you, Martin. You seem like a good kid at heart. Our church and faith tells us to love our neighbor. It's a principle of it. That's a question I keep asking myself. Because <laughs> I like you, Martin. Well, I mean, that's kind of a lie, but you seem like a good kid at heart. I'm not a kid. Unlike you, I already have one of my own. You've been working with these monks so long, you probably can't even father one. Ha 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 ha. So piss off and stop bothering me. I'm busy. Um, what well, would you like to join Otto, Andres, and me for dinner? You know what, Andreas? I don't want supper. I don't want to eat supper with you fucking lot of old farts. All right, fine. <laughs> Martin? Oh my god, no way. It is him from Oblivion. Good day, Master Mailer. Uh, Andreas, good to see you. I trust Clara gave you my message. Afternoon, Endress. Otto? Clara did give me your message. Sorry I missed you this morning. I was still asleep when you came by. Ha, <laughs> the abbot really lets you get away with anything, doesn't he? Leave him be, Otto. I'm hungry. Let's pray. Nice. Bless us, O Lord, and these your gifts which we are about to receive from your bounty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Um, I've had a, I've had a bad morning. Barely got anything done on my neck's aching anyway. How did the morning treat you? Not too bad, thanks. I hurt my damned hand splitting timber to replace a bad beam in the abbot's house. <laughs> it's an eating mini game, guys. It's not that bad of an injury. It just galls me that the abbot bleeds us dry and we're expected to do work here when it suits him. Select a food item to eat. Sheep's milk cheese. Rye bread. Mmm. 
Oh, it's not all that bad. I get a lot of good. I get a lot of good work from the Abbey. Casting pilgrims, casting pilgrims badges isn't really smithing, but I don't mind. Rye bread. Nice. Anyway, I saw you walking with that Baron Rothfolk on the meadow on your way up. What was that all about? Um, he's here to check on a commission. I understand he was friendly with Father Matthias. Matthias. I think he may be here to pressure Brother Piero to finish the manuscript he's working on. As far as I can tell, he's come to terrorize the people of Tassing and Kersau. <laughs> what the what the fuck? He was, though Father Matthias had some misgivings about the Baron. Um, he does seem like he has an unsavory side to him. I No, listen, do not fucking... Uh, if there's anything this game is trying to teach you, it's do not fucking choose your words carefully. What kind of misgivings? That he fools around with the young woman? He's married, of course. Oh... Otto, that's only gossip, but it isn't Christian to spread rumors like that. It's not gossip that he beat up that farm a few years back. Old Ranig, may you rest in peace. Ranig. Ranig Kemper. Oh, that's why she fucking, that's why she fucking was mad at him. Well, I wasn't there, so I don't know. But if he did that, yes, it speaks poorly of his character. We had a long conversation on the way up here, but he didn't mention anything about that. Um, <laughs> what did you talk about then? I mean, no offense, but what does a nobleman have in common with an artist? He talked to me about my work. He's fascinated by both art and books. Martin Luther, my time at university, a variety of other things. He's quite well educated. He could sense my he could sense my inherent moral quality, Otto. Sure, I imagine you have a lot of time to read when you don't have to worry where your next meal is going to come from. This bitterness and envy are not good for our Christian souls, Otto. It's not envy, Entris. No one should get away with what he does, what this Abbey does. No offense to you, Andreas. I don't have any problem with the books the Abbey makes. I mean, I never did learn to read, but if people are paying the Abbey to make them, it doesn't bother me. No, I understand. I think you're being unfair. The Abbey does tasking a lot of good. More than you realize, fucker. By the way, I'm even more overpowered and oblivion now. Oh my god, Skuma. I'm so happy for you. What happens now? Um, The Abbey does tasking a lot of good. More than you realize. Ah. Uh, Oh, uh, Otto, did you see that that the Bowers' sheep escaped the grazing fields again? No, but I'm not surprised. Martin was probably... Martin? Oh, uh, yeah, Martin. Martin. <sighs> Martin was probably supposed to fix that fence. He probably did a bad job at it. He's always in a foul mood. He could be the laziest soul in tassing. Can't even hold a hammer properly. Married, and a father at such a young age, he can barely lift a finger, lifts a finger for his wife or child. On top of that, he's a damned thief. Before you say it, Endress, it's more than just gossip. Look at him, over by the guest house. He's probably figuring out what he can steal with the least amount of effort. He's a born shirker, sure enough. I know one when I see one. <laughs> Especially when you look in a mirror. Um, speaking of the bower sheep, their ewes are shorn, and the women will be spinning it soon. Otto. I got it, Endress. No need to tease. What God wants to happen will happen. What does that mean? I admit that went over my head. Looks like a storm's coming. We should probably get back to it. Right. I'll catch up in a moment, Endress. <laughs> Just eating their lunch on the ground. It's cute. Oh, Andreas. Uh, say hello to Eva for me if you get the chance. Eva? Who the fuck is she? Wait, was she the one in the fucking... In the, was she the one in the chapel that wanted me to get my fucking book? Eva, huh? Well chosen, Otto. Andreas, don't. Just tell her hello for me and keep out of it. You're the one involving me in your courtship. I didn't, uh, of course. I should return to work in the scriptorium. Until later. Nonnes. Sex time is over. It's time for knowns. Time to get back to work. What are you doing here? Guest house. Let's check it out. Can I see Martin leering outside? Mischlaus. God be with you, Andreas. No one can see me, so I can pickpocket and stab him when no one will notice. <laughs> That's the best fucking thing I've heard all day. That's why sneak archers just are so great, aren't they? It's over here. This just goes upstairs. Abbott House. Oh. I gotcha. I'm gonna need to know the layout of this fucking Abbott House, aren't I? And then it's gonna be like, you have to help us get out of here without us being murdered by people. What? Just leave me alone. You're being so fucking rude. Meadow? Can I just go to the meadow? The figures of the shrine to St. Christopher are quite nice. 
St. Christopher, one of the 14 holy helpers, St. Christopher has invoked his protection against the plague and to safeguard travelers. He is often pictured as a large man with a staff carrying the child Jesus on his back across a swollen river. Oh, nice. Things? Irises. Beautiful. Till. Hey, how's it going? Hello, Master Mailer. Hello, Master Mailer. The mill? A shrine to St. Moritz. The statue looks ancient. Well, I'm going to keep fucking around and not do my job because I'm curious about what's going on. Meadow? Roman ruins? Oh. Child's drawings. I wonder who the artist is. <laughs> Attributed to him. All right. Oh, what is all this about? Collapse. This must have allowed access to the aqueduct. Good to know. Glad we came down here. How's it going, Lenhart? Afternoon. You're the Gertner's border, aren't you? How could you tell? You look like a man who understands the power of appearances. <laughs> Quite unlike the Gertner's. <laughs> They're farmers. You expect them to act like kings? Um. You should, is that... A little dignity wouldn't hurt them. They beat, they bleed like sheep when times get hard. Only Ava's got a backbone. Ava? Ava Gertner? Oh, no, so it wasn't the nun. How is she, by the way? What is, um, she's fine. Why? I'm only curious. She used to bring the barley to me, but Peter insists on delivering it now. A shame. She'd shown some curiosity about the mill. I'd hope to foster that. Um, is there something, it is a handsome mill. She's the only windmill in Bavaria, did you know? Wow, powerful duchy in the southeastern Holy Roman... We are in Bavaria, I got that right. Fuck you guys. Uh, the Holy Roman Empire. It is east of Swabia, of course, and north of Tyrol, of course. Tassing and Kiersau sit in the extreme south of the duchy, near the border with Tyrol. Cool. I hope uh, I, something is bad. Constructed in exacting detail from Dutch specifications. The gem of the Alps, and none of the industry dolt, industrious do, incurious dolts here could appreciate it, except you. <laughs> yes, I'm sure it's the peasants who are the problem. I suspect they have more urgent matters on their mind. I should be going. Until later. Until then, Mailer. Paul. <laughs> Has all these fucking options to choose a name. Chooses Paul. Um, hello. Paul, right? I don't think we talked before. I'm Andreas. I'm staying with the Gertners. Oh, but you're not a farmer. Why are you living with the farmers? Ignore that. Cast that from your mind. Oh, but you're not a farmer. Why are you living with the farmers? They're letting me work with them when I work in the Abbey Scriptorium. You're a monk? I'm an artist. Oh, like you do drawings? Drawing, painting, calligraphy. If it goes in the book, I can put it there. Oh, is that... How do you get money? What? <laughs> How do you get paid for your shitty little drawings? The yeah, Abbey pays me, of course. Art is a job, just like being a miller is a job, but it's also a calling. I didn't... My dad says... My dad says drawing's stupid. It's not worth anything. I know who's drawing those drawings on there. Well, you know, someone with your skill of drawing. Yeah, no, uh, absolute shit. I don't think you should be looking out for it. Your dad's... Do you like... To, um... Do you like to draw, Paul? Yes, more than anything, but I have to do it, but Dad can't see. He gets mad. My dad doesn't like some of the things I do either. That's why I don't tell him. Can I tell you... Encourage Paul to draw. Can I tell you a secret? Sure. Sometimes I draw in the ruins in the meadow where Dad can't see. The Romans would have been honored. They loved defacing monuments. I don't know what that means. Don't worry about it. What do you draw? Cats, Mom, I don't know, stuff... I probably shouldn't be talking to you. Dad won't like it. You're probably right. I'll go. Until later, Paul. And hey, keep up. Keep drawing, all right? I will. Bye. Don't say it so fucking loud. Pet Stauba. Of course. I'm going to pet every fucking animal I see. <laughs> nice rainy day out in the mill, huh? Nice. Well, that was epic. Thank you so much. Church and Truckers. Outer Farms. Elsa. Who are you? Good afternoon. Uh, forgive me. I've forgotten your name. I'm wounded. To call me Andreas. Andreas. Nah, I'm not going to riz his wife. Andreas Mailer, Master Artist. Uh, well. I'm wounded. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, I hope I may. I hope I may, uh, call you else. No. I mean, no. Please. Not when my husband can hear. 
Of course. Uh, of course. My apologies. It's all right. He's just suspicious of men's attentions. Um. Uh, he ought to lighten up. Everyone deserves to live a little. Not everyone. I, uh... I heard Clara and Ava had an artist boarding with them. That must be very exciting. For them or for me? Oh my god, no, don't fucking do it. <laughs> oh, might as well fucking go for it. Andreas! Oh, I only meant living on a farm among the town people. Isn't it very lively? Um, only when Peter starts raving about the Miller's toll. Peter? Oh, yeah. Only when ill Peter wakes in the night and can't find the chamber pot. So far... <laughs> Ursula brings some joy to the household, though. Such a lovely little girl. I talked to your son, Paul. He seemed like a good kid. Paul is a darling, but so shy. I pray the Lord may someday bless us with a daughter. Elsa? Are you asking for a daughter again? Have you finished with your gavel? There's work that needs doing. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I have to get to my labors. Of course. I apologize if I bothered you. Until later, Mistress M Mullerin. Until then. Nice. Riz. I fucking knew. I love... I, you have to... Glass windows? They must have cost a fortune. Oh, yeah. Fair enough, actually. I guess that's true. Church and Druckers. Other farms. I like how I'm just like, man, gotta get back to the scriptorium. Oh my god, I've wandered so fucking far away. I'm supposed to be at work right now. I'm taking an extended lunch. Holy shit, that's fucking hilarious. Helena, how's it going, babe? God bless you, Andreas. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Holy shit. Oh, Thomas. God be with you, Andreas. The mill, Franz Bauer, and Window Kemperin. Oh yeah, Klaus. Let's go back down here. Mm-hmm. Oh hey. Franz. Andreas. Cool. Nice to meet you, asswipe. Uh oh? what is this? Hmm, these wood carvings are quite curious. What is it? Where, where am I going into now? What, what house? Oh, it's Otilia. You want something? I just want to wander around your house. That's chill. Nice home you got here. It'd be a shame if someone burnt it to the ground in the name of our Christian Lord. All right. Cute. Really getting a feel for the town. John Bauer Farm. Hello. She's outside. It's fucking raining. Hello, Andreas. Johan. Hey there, Andreas. Hans. Little Hans. Hey, Andreas. How's it going, Hans? Keeping busy in the fields? I guess. Do you like it? What? Farming. I never really thought about it. Dad says it has to get done whether I like it or not. What do you think about it, then? Uncle Franz said Brigitta might come help with the laundry today. Okay. Brigitta? Cool. She's Martin's wife, right? She seems nice. She is. Nicer than Veronica, anyway. Veronica? Did they mean to... I wish Brigitta lived here instead of her. Well, you have, you have a good time thinking about your cousin's wife. <laughs> what? Until later, Hans. Uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Veronica, she's the mean one. Good to know. Oh, bees. Johan's family keeps beehives for the honey and the fucking wax, bro. Gertner Farm. Holy shit. I'm home. Hey. <laughs> Did you talk to that guy? Hey, aren't you doing work that's going to help us pay money for um, fucking stuff? Uh, Yeah, 100%. I'll, I'll be right there. I'm just on a little detour. <laughs> Wander around town. France Bauer House. Can't go to the Bauer House, huh? Not chill. Let's go to the mill. All these places are connected. I can't believe it. It's beautiful. Roman, what, will he say anything different now that he knows the drawings are Peter's? These must be Paul's drawings. Paul's, whatever. Same fucking kid. Stupid. Cash and fish and shit. Collapsed. Damn. Wish I could have gone in there. I, I'm assuming... 
that, uh, maybe someday. Well, what's this? A shrine to St. Moritz. The statue looks ancient. Ah, oh, Columbine. Looks like it's coming in early. Alright, cool. What a cute little countryside. Gotta love it. Oh, what's this shit? Hold on. Snowdrops. One of the only flowers that can bloom this early in spring at this altitude. Let's go to the forest, baby. Oh, fuck yeah. We are in the forest now. Shrine of St. Sasha. Damn, we're, we're learning about everything. Hey, look who it is. How's it going? Gertrude, what's up? God bless you, Master Mailer. God bless you, Sister Gertrude. I didn't know you needed to forage for herbs down here. I thought the convent had a garden. Oh, it does. But the forest provides many local plants that we don't need to cultivate. The Romans believed that Tassing was protected by a fairy, and the plants that grew around her spring bloomed all year. Small Roman towns up there had nymph cults. I'm not surprised Tassing had its own local spirit. Oh, yes. Legend says Tassia was a fairy who lived by the local spring. She was bathing there when she was interrupted by a man who wanted his way with her. When she cried out, Mars, who was hunting the forest, heard her and struck the man down. Mars, the Roman god of war and agriculture. Mars represented civilization and peace through military might. Wow. Tassia blessed him by washing him in the spring, and the water that fell from his body made the ground around Tassing fertile. <laughs> It's all pagan nonsense, of course, but it's a lovely story. Must have been some bath. Do you think a spirit could still dwell in the spring? Oh, don't be absurd. Saint Moritz drove away all the demons when he converted Tassing. And if they don't try to, if they try to come back, well, that's what Saint John's Eve is for. The feast and celebration of Saint John the Baptist, beginning at sunset on June twenty third, coincides with Midsummer's Day and the summer solstice. Well, you learn so much, aren't you? With me, your educational streamer. You're welcome. Um, anyways, anyway, I ought to get back to work. God bless you, Master Mailer. Until later, Sestra. Sashia. Pretty. Carving of Saint Sashia. Satia? I don't know. Looks quite old. Nice. Gertie's just chilling out down here. Cool. Wow, that big-ass tree. I just noticed. Let's check out that waterfall, bro. Well, well, well. Oh. Rotten and full of bugs. No water auto hasn't split it up. Old auto. Good to see you, Andreas. The waterfall must flow down from the from the snow melt in the mountains above the abbey. The soil in these woods is rich and moist. It would be an excellent place to forge for mushrooms once I have some free time. Oh nice. I, I mentioned that earlier to that other dude. The old salt mine, eh? Damn, this is where all the Overwatch players come. There's something on that fucking thing. For sure. Tassing's old salt mine. How the town made money before the Imperial Road opened up. Imperial Road. Imperial Road. Also called the Via Imperi. The Imperial Road links Venice in the south with the Stettin on the Baltic Sea in the north. Oh. With Stettin. Oh. It passes through Verona, Innsbruck, Nuremberg, and many other cities along the way. It also brings thousands of travelers to Tassing and Kearsau every year. That's good. Very good. Didn't know about all this lore. We're learning so much history, everybody. I like this, though. Shiny bi bi Bible knob. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back, Christ lovers. Today, we're going to be playing Pentiment. Smoky. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, Master Mailer. Yes. We met once before, I think. You were drawing something by the, uh, waterfall. I'm Smokey. Well, Adam, but people call me Smokey. Hear the chart? Yes, I remember. Ah, good. So, is there anything I can do for you? No, I'm just being friendly. Oh, of course. Good to see you. Until next time, Master Mailer. Until then. Nice. Vatslav. Oh, uh, hello. Hello, you're not a local, are you? Um, no, I'm staying in Tassing only briefly. Is Smokey a friend of yours? No, I mean, I didn't know him before coming to Tassing, but he's let me stay with him, so yes, I suppose he is. People don't much like Romani. Most people, most folk despise anything that's different. I like staying on the edge of town. Not for me. Not me. There's incredible diversity in nature. I find it awe-inspiring. Um, variation comes with dangers, too. I haven't seen you too often. Do you live here? 
I'm only visiting Tassing as well. My name is Andreas. Andreas Mahler. Oh, you're the artist staying up the abbey. It's nice to meet you. Most folk in Tassing don't come down here to talk. Um, right, I'm Vaxlov, a traveling tinker. I travel from place to place, sharpen knives, mend small things that need mending, that sort of thing. What brought you to... What brought you to Tassing, Vaxlov? Well, I uh, actually came to visit Kirsau's library. I had hoped for one of the monks to read them to me, but the abbot wouldn't let me in. Either Father Gurno is a grumpy old man. I think he has a half a mind to throw me out of the scriptorium most days. No one's allowed inside the library except the sisters. I'm not surprised they turned you away. Ah. Uh, what were you looking for? Uh, well, I explained I was looking for a text about the elements. If they're primordial, as Aristotle says, then God didn't create them. They exist with him since the dawn of time. That's a fascinating idea. But Genesis clearly says the Lord created that. But Genesis? Um, actually, but Genesis clearly says? That's a fascinating idea. Not only that, but it explains the presence of the angels and demons before the creation of the world. Of the five elements, angels are fire and air, and demons water and earth, and the world was aether before the Lord formed it. That's why Satan appeared as a snake to Eve. Snakes can only dwell in deep caves and pools. Um, I never considered that before. Oh my God, I can't feel. Be careful, Voxlaw. People have been in prison for talking like that. Don't be a fool. God created the elements just as much as anything else. Um, I'd have said you might be onto something. I did not expect such open dialogue with you, Master Mailer. Few men with your statue would entertain such ideas with someone like me. Uh, anyway, I should get back to work. Until later, Vachlav. <laughs> that's what I said as I left. I just burped in his fucking face like a piece of shit. You're the charcoal burner. Nice old log. Most of this felling is for the Abbey's renovations and firework. The town can only gather sticks. Oh my god. Fucking greedy gusses. Oh. Oh, cute. Alright, forest. Oh. Smokey's home. <laughs> Good old Smokey. Alright, cool. Well, I'll gather some fucking mushrooms later then. I guess we'll just fucking find out what that fucking dude is. Suck my dick.